Yeah, they were nice, you know, you know before before they were all sort of um, spoiled. Yeah, used to go on the beach there and the, then the beach was empty. Going there, it's just full of deck chairs and umbrellas, you know. People. Yeah, yeah. So, so you've seen the best of years of all. Mm. Now, a few years ago, we had an event at Leeson House, Ooh, yeah, which was that. the centre yeah, of radar. Yeah. Okay. And I, I understand uh, some people from the Russian embassy came to see you. That's why right. Why did they come and see you? Um, <clears throat> they came to present me with a, a medal. Yeah. Um, what sort of medal was it? Um, Ushkanov? Was it the Ush Ushkanov medal? No, not that one. I, I yeah. had that one I going so. back. I went to um, uh, Exeter. I couldn't understand why they didn't oh, uh, ask me to go to Southampton because they had one presentation there. And um, anyway, they offered Exeter and I thought, no, it's too far to go. you know. But then they yeah, changed their mind, went down there, and um, yeah, it was a lovely presentation. And that's when we received the um, what was it? What's the medal? Ushalikov. Um, Ushalikov medal. Ushalikov medal. Yes, lovely medal. Yeah, I can't remember a lot of these things now. <coughs> so if I give you this, Trevor, <coughs> mm. if we yeah, hold that I remember there a minute, Leeson House. There's the medals. Mm. Mm. And if you turn it round. Turn it round. What, and you, yeah, you tell us what they are, Trevor. Oh, mm, mm. You can guess. <laughs> yeah, well, let's start with that one. That was um, just a general medal you got for being in the war, I think. This one, uh, what was that one? I don't know, I should have memorised these. Mm. Anyway, that, that's the Arctic star. It was six months up in the Arctic. That one, I think, was the Atlantic star, you know, for being in the Atlantic as well. And um, this one, yeah, that's the, that's the main one. The Ushnoff medal, is it? Yeah, forget names now. That was presented at um, Exeter. Yeah, and, um, and then this one, this one, was this one presented? Or oh, that one, was it? It, um, Leeson House. That was lovely that day. Yeah. Wasn't it? That that was, great. was lovely. I think we had 22 veterans, I think. Is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All together. And some yeah. la Land Army girls yeah. were there. Were there? Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. You introduced me to um, Sir. Um, Richard, God, Drax. Rich, Richard Drax. Richard Drax, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't know what to say to him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, do I bail? <laughs> no, I think it's like, possibly the other way I round. No, he was going to make a speech and he was asking me how I got on in the Russian combo. I don't remember saying too much for him, I was a bit too old, I think. Anyway, I think he got the general idea. And um, that, was, that was a medal presented then, and I think that one as well, I don't know. I can't remember that one as well. Hmm? But uh, there they all are. So, were there any friends that you remember from the war particularly that you lost contact with? Oh, loads of them, all over the country, you know. Yeah. Um, don't remember all their names, but they had all had nicknames, you know. They are all good lads. Yeah, did they be. did they come from all over the country or were they all based locally to where well, you were? <clears throat> I think they were, they were based according to where they where they live. You know, some were based at Chatham, where they lived in the London area. Then some were at Portsmouth, where they lived there. But a lot of the Northerners, they all came down to Devonport. I think you know because there's a lot of different accents. Yeah. Yeah. So quite a good crowd, you know. Do you ever dream of those years, the war years? Yeah, I do sometimes, yeah. Because mm. a lot of the others have said that they still dream quite vividly. Yeah, of, yeah of I, I often dream, yeah. yeah. Funny dreams, you know. <laughs> Not sort of reality, it's sort of weird, the older dreams, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, and how yeah. do you feel now when you look back 
are there bad memories? Is it is it stuff you've put behind you? Well, or was it like an adventure? <clears throat> well, the war part of it, I don't like remembering too much. You know, you know I think it was a bit shell-shocked after being torpedoed, probably. Yeah. But uh, after that happened, then going out to the, the Far East, then that's when I, I started enjoying it again, you know, go ashore and get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, um, yeah, they were nice years. Yeah. But um, then coming back and having to go back to work, and um, not so good then. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah but uh, do you I have any? Do you have any regrets? What about anything? Um, no, I don't think so. No, I think I did all the right things. <laughs> well, I had to and they've joined up. Um, but I was lucky I came out on the sky. So when I think back, all the poor chaps left up there. No. Yeah. And what would you say to the younger generation who maybe haven't learnt the lessons of history and may go forward and create war again? Um, they don't know what it's all about. Uh, they, they, I think they get lost now. Things are so different now. But they, when you think the Navy's so modernised now, you know, think of that big aircraft carrier, um, you just, you're not on a ship, <laughs> you're in a big hotel, you know. They don't see the sea, I don't think. Don't know what seasickness is or anything, do they? No. And yeah. final question. Brexit or anti-Brexit? It's a very interesting question, bearing mm. in mind the EU came into its own being mm. after the war. Mm. How yeah. do you stand on that for the I'm, future? I'm all for Brexit. And mm. why? Um, I think we'd be best off standing on our own, you know. Uh, we'd have to have all these immigrants coming over. That's the main worry, isn't it? You know, I think they're all still coming ashore in Italy and um, soon they'll be working their way up and they'll be in this car. I think we've got enough already when you look around. I'm not biased, mm. you know, no. But <laughs> you're, you're allowed an opinion, Trevor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Because yeah. it's an interesting question. Half of the veterans think that they fought to have a unified Europe. Yeah. And the yeah. other half oh, thought yeah. that they fought not yeah. to be yeah. so controlled. Well, I mean, if you hadn't had all these immigrants coming from all, all over um, Asia and that, yeah, I would say stay in Europe, mm. but we're going to get swamped with them, aren't we? I'm not um, biased like that, but... Um, well, I like England as it is, you know, with English people. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Do you want to say anything? Do you want to say anything? Do you want me to turn it around and would you like to say anything? <laughs> no? Okay. Yeah, come on, you all put up with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's on with recording. <laughs> She's deliberately no, not no, speaking. No, it's been a pleasure talking to you. And I think you've done brilliantly. I don't know, you know, how done it was, you know. <laughs> done it. Well, what we'll do is we'll turn it off, let's say it stop. Yeah.